Well, this week it went into record that since 1935, Dimitri and Reza won the Nobel Peace Prize for press freedom, at least or for journalists. It's the first time in, since 1935 that a journalist has been awarded for defending freedom of expression. So sad we have grown up in an environment that is already into a serious armed conflict. And as you all agree with me, the truth is one thing that suffers most in the heart of an armed conflict. And this goes a long way to make reporting by media professionals very, very inaccurate. Once the truth is threatened, reporting becomes very, very inaccurate. In our community these days, if you report the truth, you definitely will find problems with someone between the conflicting parties that we all have been subjected to their rule. There is no gain saying that if a journalist must go beyond the ordinary line of getting it right, you must rise up to face the challenges that come with telling the truth. As we are all acutely aware, propaganda is quite strong these days. It is a right, of course, for those who want to do so. Meaning that if it is A sometimes, and it has to be referred to as A, some people for propaganda reason would decide to refer to it as C. The journalist has a responsibility to say that no, it is A. But would a journalist stick, stick his head on the guillotine to say A, this is a problem. And once this becomes a problem, building a society where freedom is capital becomes a serious problem, where people are free, where people are able to exercise their natural liberties, where people are expected to enjoy their rights as human beings, is become a difficult because that fundamental element in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which is the freedom of expression, has been tampered with in that particular community. As it is at this point in time, as I speak for my friends and colleagues who are in the media profession, it is important to call our attention to the fact that truth will remain truth. And if we must move a step forward, it is important to respect truth. Propaganda is part of communication that we all agree. But if you want to do a propaganda and someone elects to be on the side of truth, you also have the right to reflect a little bit and confirm whether you were just doing your propaganda or you were actually wanting people to take what you said to be truth. Before the world elects to agree on the word fake news, which, is been, which, came into, which gained some popularity when Donald Trump came into power, fake news, two things were around that word. You have misinformation and disinformation. Of course, misinformation, I can give you information that it depends on what I have. For example, if an accident occurs down here and my eyewitness interviewee tells me that two people died and I give you that information, which is wrong, which three people died, that is misinformation. It was not my intention to do so. But if the same accident happened and I go there and I see two people who died and I came back and I say 10 died, that is disinformation. My intention is to make you believe in what doesn't exist. It is key for us to understand that these are key things that operate in times of armed conflict. And for journalists to be able to find themselves in this area, trust me, they will no longer be doing journalism. And what's my take for today? We continuously appeal to all the warring factors in the Northwest and Southwest region to allow journalists to do their work at least with respect for the truth. And that's be the stake for today. We'll be right back.